Hey guys, what's up? It's Haley here and I am super excited about today's video. So I am going to try my best to be vegan completely, 100% for an entire week. If you know me, you, you know I eat nachos like every day. You know I love chicken nuggets, I all that. Like it's going to be really hard for me, but I'm going to try my best because one, I've always just been curious about it and two, I want to see if I can really do it because it's something I've been thinking about. So I'm about to go to the store right now and get a bunch of vegan goodies. Probably won't take you in there with me like a lot because it's just kind of like a sensitive time and I don't really want to be like having my phone everywhere. So I'm headed to the store right now and I will check back in with you guys later and let you know kind of the overview of what I got. So here we okay, go. I just got home. got tons of goodies so I'm really excited about the stuff I got sorry if you can hear noise they're like mowing out there we have the windows open because it's so nice so I'm gonna go ahead and put all this away and I'm actually gonna make myself something because I didn't have breakfast or anything so I'm a little hungry so yeah I will show you guys when I'm about to make food okay everything is put away and I actually went ahead and made myself some coffee I hadn't had any yet today um, so I just use a little bit of this creamer that I got. It's the Natural Bliss Coconut Milk Creamer and the Sweet Cream, and it's actually pretty good. So that's one thing I was like really concerned about this week is giving up my coffee creamer. So that's good to go. Um, I'm just gonna make a smoothie and some avocado toast, just something light. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the toast. And this is the Dave's Killer Bread, the 21 whole grain. And I'm gonna eat two pieces since I have not eaten today and I'm starving. And then while our toast is going, we're gonna go ahead and start our smoothies. So I'm gonna do a big handful of these power greens. We'll do like that much. I do three ounces of pineapple juice, so half a can. This. I'm gonna do a splash of coconut milk. And do one small banana. this frozen fruit medley and I usually put like the mango chunks, the pineapple chunks, and peach slices in. I don't really do the grapes or the strawberries. All right and that's it. We're gonna go ahead and blend her up. I did not need to use this big of a glass, but you get the idea. There's our smoothie. I'm gonna set that aside and our toast is done. So I'm gonna grab it. So here's our toast. And I just have some avocado from the other day that I'm gonna mash up and put on here. All right. And I'm gonna add a little bit of sriracha for a kick. Okay, I'm gonna try the smoothie first. And I make this all the time, so I already know it's good. So this is really good. And our toast, I also make avocado toast all the time. I would usually put an egg on it though, so this is a little bit different for me. I'm gonna go ahead and eat my lunch and I will check in for dinner. We're about to make dinner. He is going to have a pork burger, so he's like preparing that for himself over there. I, at the store today, got these Beyond Meat, Beyond Burger plant-based patties and it says now meatier than ever whatever that means so we're gonna try this out i'm just gonna make one of them and then if i like it i'll save the other one for later in the week so start with our potatoes we're gonna have like potato wedges so i am gonna cut these up season them and get them in the air fryer pat these dry with the paper towel it doesn't have to be perfect I'm gonna do, give them a toss with some olive oil a little pepper and some seasonal just a little bit and give it a toss all right so turn my air fryer on Put it down to about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna check them and flip them if I have to. And then at 390, throw these 
these in here. And hit start. There we go. And we're just gonna slap her on there. a little bit of this diet cheddar style shreds to the burger just like a few All right, now we're just gonna pop in some corn on the cob for like five ish minutes and fries look perfect all right cheese is looking good now i'm just gonna add our toppings so First, I'm gonna do this vegan mayo, and I've had this stuff before. It's really good. You almost can't tell the difference. Do a little bit of lettuce, tomato, some avocado. I love avocado on my burger. And then just some good old ketchup. Yum. Real quick, I make this dip for the fries, and it is just, mayo and sriracha and it is like the best dipping sauce i actually make this all the time and it's so good okay this does not look vegan at all to me it looks so good here we go moment of truth oh my gosh i can't even tell it's so good we're gonna go enjoy our evening and we will see you tomorrow. Okay, so for today's breakfast, I'm going to attempt a tofu scramble. I'm a little nervous about it, but we're gonna try it out. Um, so I have this super firm tofu and I can like feel the water and it's a little bit freaky to me, but that's fine. I'm gonna put mushrooms and greens in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these on the stove so they can start to caramelize. And I've never made a tofu scramble before, but I hear that you need nutritional yeast and turmeric to kind of mimic the egg type of flavor. So I'm gonna give that a go. All right, so I'm gonna put the mushrooms in first. That's good. And I'm gonna like rinse the, not rinse, but get the stuff out of here. And then I've seen, I watch a lot of the Chic Naturals videos on YouTube and she, so I've seen her do this with her tofu before. She takes it out and she puts it in a paper towel and she like squeezes it. So I'm just gonna do that because it's what she does. So I'm just gonna use like that much. Is that too much? Guys, I don't know. I've never done this before. I'm just gonna use like that much. The mushrooms are looking pretty good to me, so I guess I'm just gonna start like crumbling this in. I guess I'm gonna add the stuff. So, salt, pepper, Nutritional yeast, I guess this adds like a egg-like cheesy flavor. We're just over here trying new things. So I really have no idea how much of this to put. I'm just winging it. Maybe like, is that too much? Is that enough? I don't know. Okay, and then turmeric. Never had this in my life either. How do I get it out? There we go. I feel like that's enough. Don't want to overdo it. it smells kind of good. Now I'm going to add in the greens. And then we will just let this wilt a little bit and we should be done. All right. Looks good to me. We're going to try it. Okay, I'm going to try it. This is just um, my coffee from earlier this morning. It's just the same creamer that I used yesterday, which I really like actually. All right. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's fine. I can do it. Will you try it? 
try it. Maybe I don't you like need the, the whole bite. Not for me. <laughs> okay, it's good. So I'll see you guys for lunch. Okay, so it is about 1.40, 1.45, so I'm going to make a sandwich for lunch today. I'm gonna be using these Tofurky Deli slices, the plant-based, and these are the oven-roasted flavor. And I'm gonna have some pineapple with it too, so. Got our Dave's killer bread here, the 21 grain, and I'm gonna cut the crust off because I don't want it. So I'm gonna start with this mayo, the earth balance. We'll do some on this side. I am gonna add a little bit of this avocado that I have left over from my burger the other night, or last night, I guess. Add a few slices of tomato. And now I'm gonna get out our deli slices. Three pieces, is that normal? Is that too much? I don't know. All right, and then I'm gonna add a little bit of these greens. Okay. That should be good. Oh my gosh. And then I am gonna have some pineapple with it. All right, here is my lunch. It looks so good. All right, let's try this out. I'm a little nervous. This meat looks a little weird to me. Ready? It's good. It just tastes like turkey. Guys, I think I could do this. I think I could give up meat. It's actually really good. So I am just doing some stuff on my computer, watching some YouTube, and I'm having a snack. So I just wanted to show you. These are the popcorners, and they're the sweet and salty kettle corn flavor. They're like so good. I ate these like before this week before I like decided to do this video. They are gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, blah, 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 all that. There's only four ingredients, which is yellow corn, sunflower oil, sugar, and sea salt. So they're really like good ingredient-wise, um, but it's really hard to stop eating these. So I'm gonna do my best to just have a couple more and put them away, and I will see you guys at dinner time. Okay, it is dinner time and I'm making tacos. Like I said earlier, I'm gonna be using the Gardein beefless brown for the meat. I'm gonna cut up some onion to saute with that. And then I'm gonna make a pico. I'm just gonna eyeball it here. That looks good to me. That's enough onion for me. Our tomato, which is a lot easier than cutting up freaking onion. All right, got all those chopped. Now I'm gonna add my seasoning to the mix over here. And this is just some Southwest seasoning that we had left over from like one of our other meals. So I'm just adding that in. And then some pepper and salt and a little bit of cayenne pepper. Cool beans. All right, and I am gonna add a little bit of water to this just so it can kind of thicken up. Awesome. I'm going to let that simmer for a few minutes while I finish my pico here. I love a lot of lime. I'm gonna show you a little trick with these. So what you do is you get some paper towel and get it damp, damp paper towel, unravel it, and then take your tortillas one, two, three, 
and wrap them up in the damp paper towel like this. And what we're gonna do is stick them in the microwave. Don't judge how dirty my microwave is. I'm gonna do about 30 seconds and they're gonna be nice and ready to put stuff into. All right, add this in. Adding in my avocado, not very successfully because I'm being lazy and I'm not taking out the pit. And lastly, our Daya Daya cheddar style shreds. On top. All right, I'm gonna try them first before I add more lime because I put a lot of lime juice in the pico. So here we go. Mmm, so good. Mm. Okay, I look crazy, but I'm doing a face mask. I'm kind of like just chilling today, trying to get my skin in order. So I didn't eat breakfast this morning. I just wasn't feeling it, wasn't that hungry, but it's about noon now and I'm ready for lunch. And today I'm really excited about this lunch. I'm gonna be making tofu buffalo wraps like kind of like a buffalo chicken wrap but i'm going to use tofu instead so i got the tofu here i'm going to cut that up and then i have this zesty buffalo wing sauce that i found at fresh time which is like my local healthy option grocery store i'm going to go ahead and cut up the tofu and get it all marinated and then put it on the stove for a couple minutes so here we go i'm going to Put in the tofu. And while that cooks, I'm gonna go ahead and assemble my wrap. So we got one tortilla. And then I am just gonna add a little bit of this mayo. Probably good. I honestly like this mayo better than I like regular mayo, which is saying something. A bit of these. I'm gonna add a couple of tomato slices. Looks nice and crispy. So I'm gonna go ahead and add it in. All right, I'm actually just gonna add a little bit more of this because most of it like cooked away. So I'm just gonna do like literally tiny drops. So there's like a little bit of like that texture to it so like just a tiny bit and it's gonna be really spicy but all right I'm gonna try it so let's wrap it up it's gonna be so good all right here it is moment of truth guys I really hope it's good because this is like what I've been most excited for all week it's so good I'm, I'm like so excited. I can honestly even use more sauce. Like, I don't know what I was afraid of. It is spicy, but the sauce is just so good. Mm. I'll check back in with you next time I feel like eating today. So it is Thursday. Last night I didn't show my dinner just because I had the other veggie burger, so I didn't feel the need to show you a repeat. And then for breakfast this morning, I just had a bowl of fruit and some coffee. And now I'm gonna make myself a salad for lunchtime. So I have all my ingredients down here. I'm gonna make kind of like a fruit balsamic type of salad. So first, I'm gonna start with our greens. That looks pretty good to me. And then I'm gonna add in some onion that I just kind of pre-chopped. So I don't like a ton, just a little bit. And then I have some strawberries that I chopped up as well. And those are gonna be like my main focus. So I'm just gonna pile those in. I like to have a strawberry with every bite. And then I'm gonna toss in the blueberries. And then I have these dried sweet cranberry and glazed walnuts as my topping. So this is more of like a sweet, 
salty summer salad. And then for the dressing, I have this Panera balsamic vinaigrette dressing that I'm gonna put on top. And there we have it. Super simple lunch today, nothing fancy. And that's it for lunch. So I'm gonna go eat and I will check in with you guys for dinner. Okay, so when I recorded dinner, I was watching a show, so I like didn't really talk through it or anything, but I am actually making a veggie tofu, tofu, tofu stir fry for dinner tonight. So right here, I'm just kind of sauteing some veggies, some broccoli and onion, and then I have some rice cooking. I am doing everything separately in the stir fry because Brad, my fiance, had chicken instead of tofu and he doesn't like mushrooms. So I kind of made mine separately as you can see here. Um, and it is just marinating in some teriyaki sauce. And now I'm just adding in my half of the veggies just to kind of mix everything together. And then once that kind of warms up a little bit, I'm going to add in some rice just so I can kind of combine everything. And then I'm going to add the final portion of the teriyaki sauce to make everything come together. And this dinner was seriously so good. It's the most full that I felt. So I think rice is like necessary um, for the vegan diet. So this was a really, really good dinner. Okay, so I am not, it is Friday and I'm not gonna show you what I eat today just because this video is already gonna be like super long and I didn't want it to be like over 30 minutes or anything. I thought that would just be a little too long. So instead, I'm just gonna kind of wrap this video up by telling you kind of what I thought about this week of eating vegan. And I do have to say it is a lot more doable than I thought it would be. Um, granted, I did use a lot of like replacement meats, which can not always be the best Thing for you, I know, I know a lot of people that are vegan like make their own like black bean burgers and they do like a lot more beans and different types of protein instead of like the artificial meat. So that's one thing. I kind of feel like I took the easy way out that way, but overall it was pretty good. I will say I noticed myself getting a lot hungrier throughout the day than I normally do. But overall, it was a pretty pleasant experience. I don't think I'm gonna be going vegan after this experience, and I don't think I'm gonna do as much dairy, but I'm not gonna put a label on it or anything. I'm just gonna try to eliminate dairy for the most part in any way that I can. So, this was a fun little experiment. It kind of helped me discover some stuff about myself and what I want my diet to look like, so. That is awesome. Um, I think this is really fun to try. I think everyone should try it if it's something that you're interested in. Being vegan is something that's always been um, intriguing to me. And now that I've tried it, I can say I tried it and now I know it's not 100% for me. I do think I really need eggs still. That tofu scramble just was not it for me. It wasn't bad, but like I eat eggs every day. So that's something that I think is necessary for me to get the nutrients I need in my diet and I did notice though that I don't need a ton of meat anyways yeah, that is kind of what I've discovered throughout this week of trying out being vegan so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe before you leave today if you've made it this far I love you thank you and I will see you in my next one bye